guys, welcome back to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. Well, my beard is gone, but it's still Red Beard Outdoors. So um, today we are going to do a horse trailer review. Uh, we have a loaner that we're going to be using for Boonville, and I'm going to do a quick review on it. So come along with me and check this out. Let's start at the front right here. We got the gooseneck part right here. This puppy is rigged up with two different. Uh, pairs of propane tanks, large ones for the generator on the bottom, and this is for the uh, hot water and refrigerator inside, and a heater in here. So, um, have an automatic power jack right here, which is really nice that we don't have to crank away on that. Spare tire and three sets of batteries underneath here. All right, moving on, we have a nice little awning that folds down, gives us some shade so we can hang out when we're camping. And uh, next up is the living quarters, but we'll do that last. So let's keep going on to the back. We have the mid tack room right here, where this is probably one of the best features for having dogs and having a horse trailer. Um, we have all these crates in here to haul dogs. So, custom made aluminum crates here. Pretty awesome. Have all of our tacks and saddles. Uh, we insulated the roof here to uh, try to keep it cooler in here because it gets pretty hot in here. Um, but yeah, right now we have it pretty organized. So. This box right here is uh, where the generator is, and we'll look at that later. Uh, we got 120 volt outlets here, and um, this right here is a side camera. We got a custom little step right there that pops off and stows away, which is nice. This right here is real nice. We have a side box for puppies that can uh, stow away in there. And the nice thing about this door is it has a ventilation vents on the side of it right here. So, help keep them cool. Um, this is a four star horse trailer. I believe it's a 1997 is what we've gathered. Um, like I said, this is a loaner. And so uh, it's pretty nice for a 1997 setup here. All right here you have your, your horse door. Uh, you can put hay in there. Their heads sit up here. And you have your vented window. We'll go in there some more here in a little bit. Up top, we have a hay rack and a nice little ladder to get up to it. We have a uh, toolbox up there for storage, and we're going to be putting a lot of hay up there. We got the tarps on there to protect it from the rain. And uh, we also have some nice little side lights that'll light up our campground. Uh, there's also a dish antenna up there, but uh, we won't be using that. All right. Here is where we put our three horses. Terra Biscuit and Melody. We uh, line up one, two, three right here. And like I mentioned earlier, their heads go up here where we can put hay and feed from the side on over here and over in this door right here. So, pretty nice area for the horses, and if you ever wanted to put a four-wheeler or something in here, you could do that too. Uh, it's got a nice open space for it. Um, it has uh, some pretty nice lights in here we don't have on right now. So, this door right here opens up also. And we won't be doing it, but this whole bar comes off, which is nice if you want to put an ATV in. More side venting windows there and there and in the back. So really get some circulation to cool your horses off in here. All right, we have rear lighting. We have that other side lighting I showed earlier, and we got this side lighting right here. And these are all the switches for them. 
and uh, that turns everything on. It also turns on the interior horse trailer lights right there. They look, look a little weak right now, but um, they'll be a lot better when we have our generator hooked up and whatnot. So, moving on, another side door just like I showed you before for the dogs. We have it as storage right now. We have our nice little leveling blocks uh, we use for leveling out the trailer. Another horse door right here. And um, we also have tie outs. Uh, we can hook chains up to this and put dogs at our campsite on right here. We have them uh, all over the trailer. Right, um, there's some more and we have some on the other side too. This is our generator door located right here. It is currently not working, but we will be looking into maybe trying to get that to run at a uh, later time, but we just uh, use that Predator generator right now and it works great. In here is your uh, trailer plug, right here. Pretty nice little tuck away right there. Spider in there. Um, oh, hey, how you doing? I'm a little busy right now. Here's your dump levers right here. Wastewater and sewage. Won't get into that too much. Here's another side camera. We have a camera in the rear too. It's not working at the moment, but we got that one in the rear. Um, up here's the living quarters. We have um, just a bunch of fuel regulators here and a water fill right here. This is the manual jack override right here. If you have to use that. Next, we're going to the living quarters. Come check it out. Got a little screen door right here. Keep all the bugs out, hopefully. Uh, lights. All right, right here, we got a storage closet for your shoes and whatever you want in here. Over here is where um, you put your hanging clothes. Uh, bathroom in here, little lavatory, mirror, lights, exhaust fan, little toilet down here. Behind the door, got a shower. Uh, more storage cabinets here. Uh, more storage here. And you have your generator remote start here. And you have your hot water heater switch and your your battery, uh, fresh water, gray water, black water gauges right here. And your water pump control. That's all right here. I uh, got a little couch right here. More storage. You got your microwave, more storage, and a propane slash electric uh, refrigerator right here. Not the biggest, but it works for camping and whatnot, so. Got a little top right here. Exhaust fan, more storage, sink water we need to fill up our water tank uh, more storage over here is your dining area and um, we got a radio up here which would be nice for camping and more storage and going on up to where we sleep up here we have eight foot of uh, sleeping quarters up here so uh, we got a new mattress we just put in here haven't even tried it out yet so hopefully it's comfortable more storage for clothes back there. We'll use these side doors for storage right here. Windows for ventilation and 120 volt power, which would be nice. And uh, all sorts of lighting up here too. So when you get up here, you can just flip these on. Right here, we got this AC unit up in the ceiling, which is a lifesaver when it gets really hot. Keeps us cool at night. Down there is the heater right there 
and got the thermostat for that right here. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the horse trailer review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to be taking this over to uh, Boonville, Arkansas for the Irish Setter National. Hopefully, this dog right here, Reason, is going to get herself a national win. Yeah, and this one's just stubborn and honoring. So. <laughs> That's going to do it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel and check out the National coming up in my next videos. Those will be out here very shortly. So uh, I will catch you guys on the next Red Beard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outdoors and keep having fun with your horse trailers. I'll catch you guys later. Hopefully that dog right there is about to throw up. Stay on the grass. You mean the one who shouldn't eat grass? Here, call her next to you. Hopefully this dog right here, Reason, Okay, now call her to you. She's done. Call her over. Hopefully this dog right here. <laughs> reason. <laughs> Let's try that again. She thought you were going to hit her for puking.